The first step to creating your Unraid server is to uh, set up your flash drive. So I've selected a super anti spyware.com USB flash drive. There's a couple of reasons that I selected this. You can select anything, you can pick one up at the store, whatever. Basically, you want to make sure that it's a drive that's going to be reliable. So this drive I've been using for some time and it, I've never had any problems with it, so I believe that it is reliable enough to run my Unraid server. So the next thing that I like about this is the fact that it has a little LED light. So when there's disk activity on my flash drive, I can see that light flashing. To me, that's a great feature because if something goes wrong or if, uh, if my system's not booting, for example, uh, that light will either be solid or just won't be on. If, say, there's a problem with the USB bus, then it just helps me to diagnose the situation. Also, this drive is one gigabyte in its capacity. I like that because that gives me, even though it's not n anywhere near necessary for Unraid, it does give me room to expand. So if I decide that down the road I'd like to install modules on my Unraid server, I'll be able to do that because there's lots of room on this device and I won't have to worry about running out of space anytime soon. All we have to do is get onto their website and uh, the download site is download.lime-technology.com and get this file called syslinux.zip. Just click on that and open it up onto your system and we can just save that file that it opens up, uh, extract the exe file uh, into a folder on our desktop or wherever you'd like to do that. Now plug in your USB flash drive to your computer and you're going to bring up my computer and uh, just determine the drive letter of that device. Then we need to format it by right clicking on it, choosing format. Format as a FAT file allocation table uh, file system and set the device name to unraid. Remember if you've got data on that drive now formatting that drive is going to wipe everything off of it so make sure you copy those files off of your flash drive before you go through the formatting procedure. Now that our drive is formatted we just need to browse to the uh, folder where we save that syslinux.exe file. Of course this has to be done on a Windows box so keep that in mind. Uh, so now once we're there, just determining the uh, drive letter of your device, in my case it was F, uh, all we need to do is run the command syslinux-ma and then the drive letter attributed to your flash drive. Uh, so that is going to set up your flash drive ready to use Unraid. Now get back onto that download page and we're just going to download the latest stable edition of Unraid Server. You'll see beta in some of the names of these files. Uh, we don't want to use a beta version because this is a production server. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the, the highest number of uh, what's considered stable version, which doesn't contain the word beta in the file name, and that's the one that we're going to download. Now that that file is downloaded, all we have to do is just copy everything from the archive and extract it onto our flash drive, which is now prepped and ready to go. Now eject that flash drive safely, take it out of your computer, and you're done step one. Your flash drive is ready to boot.